rounding rules. So here are some rules to help you round, to remember how to round so, so that you can um, estimate to check if your answers are reasonable. So here is a rhyme that you can do um, every time you go to round. So it says, find the number, look right next door, five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. So what it, this is talking about is um, when you go to round a number, so let's say we are going to round the number 46. So if I want to round the number 46, we're going to use rounding mountain and our rounding rules rhyme to help us. So um, what I want to do for this one is round to, to the nearest 10. So I've got a four in the nearest or in the tens place here. So I'm going to look, find the number, find the number that is four. Okay, so find the number, which is four, look right next door. So I need to look to the right next door. Now next door is a six. I see that six there. So we need to see if six is five or more or if it's four or less. If six is five or more, then we raise the score of the four. If six is four or less, then we let the four rest and it stays the same. Now, six is five or more. So that means we need to raise the score of the four and the four would round up to a five and we would be left with 50. If you needed a visual of what these numbers look like, here is rounding mountain. So one, two, three, and four, they let the numbers rest. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, they bump it up and it goes to the next number up. Okay, so if we have another example here, if we have, let's say we have um, 14. So if I want to round 14 to the nearest 10, so I'm looking at the one, I found my number, which is one. Then I look right next door. Right next door is a four. Four is four or less, so I let it rest. So that means I round it down to 10. Okay, those are the rules. And the reason for that is, we'll just, I'll just draw a number line here. So I want to round to the nearest 10. So if I have 14, then two nearest tens on either side, or tens place value is 10 on this side and 20 on the other side, okay? And the reason that the 14 turns into a 10 is because it's closer to a 10. So it makes more sense to round it to a 10 rather than move it all the way up to a 20. Okay, so let's look at the back and I'm going to um, go through a couple of these with you and then you'll do the rest and then we'll, uh, I'll show you the answers. Okay, so we've got this chart here and on the chart we've got six different numbers that we're going to practice with and so we'll do the first two together. Okay, so it says um, 58,453. And so what we need to do in this chart is we need to round this number to the nearest tens and then to the nearest hundreds and then to the nearest thousands and then to the nearest ten thousands. So let's start with the nearest tens first. So it says um, nearest tens is a five and we look to the neighbor to the right, which is a three. Three is four or less, so we let it rest. So this turns into 58,450. Notice how that 50 is closest to 53, closer than 60 is. Okay, next number we've got 54,815. So let's round this one to the nearest tens. We've got a one in the tens place. We look right next door. Five is four or five is five or more. So we bump the score, one turns into a two. So we've got 
20. Okay, let's try in the hundreds. We've got 58,453. Four, four is in the hundreds place value. So we look right next door. Five is five or more, so we bumped the score of the four to a five. So we are left with 58,500. Okay, and the number down here, we have 54,815. Um, eight is in the hundreds place value, and we look right next door to the one. One is four or less, so we let it rest. So we are left with 54,800. On to the thousands place value. We've got an eight in the thousands place value. So we look right next door, there's a four there. Four is four or less, so we let it rest. We've got 58,000. Okay, next up, we have got um, 54,815. Four is in the thousands place value. We look right next door to the eight. Eight is five or more, so we bump the score, turning this four into a five. And on to the ten thousands. Five is in the ten thousands. We look right next door to the eight. Eight is five or more. So we bump this score. Five turns into a six, the rest to zeros. We look down here, we've got another five in the, in the ten thousands, but this time we've got a four next door. Four is four or less, so we let it rest. Okay, so those are some examples. Now you try the four. Please pause the video and um, restart when you are ready to look at the answers. Okay, so here are the answers that you should have got um, in your practice. So notice that we've got um, each one of these, check yours to make sure that it looks the same. And um, I'd like you to take note of the last one here. Now you may have you may have done it wrong or you may have had trouble with it. So the one or the tens place value stays the same. Uh, seven seven is rest, lets it rest. But then if you look at the hundreds here, we've got 96,000. And the reason for that is because we've got a nine here. Okay, and there's a seven right next door. The seven bumps the score. Now nine turns into a 10. So now one of the 10 has to bump this five up to a six. And that's why it's 96,000. It's just like when you're adding, okay? And then we've got um, 96,000 over here again because 9 bumps the 5 up to a 6 here as well. Okay, so then we've got um, 10,000 here. And the reason for that is the same thing that happened over here. The 5 bumped the 9 up and the 9 turned into a 10. So then you've got 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So there's my 10,000. Okay, so here's a reminder here. It says, when estimating to check your answer, round the number the same way as above, usually to the nearest thousand, and then add your estimates together. If your estimate is close to the actual answer that you got when adding, then your answer is reasonable. If not, then double check your adding to check where you made the mistake. Okay, so basically the whole purpose of estimating um, after you've solved uh, what the actual number is, is um, just to make sure that what your answer is, is um, close to what the actual answer might be. Because if they're really off, then you should probably check your adding to make sure um, that you've done it properly. Now, if we, if we look um, on the bottom here for estimating practice, we are going to add, then estimate to check if your answer is reasonable. And here we are actually going to um, cross off all of the 10,000s place value because we are only adding to the um, 
four digit numbers, not five digit. So make sure you cross out yours to make it look like this instead. Okay, so um, we will do this one together and then I'll let you do this one on your own. So we've got um, 7,039 plus 2,943. So 7,039. Um, and then we write this number underneath, remember, matching up the place values. And remember to leave space over here um, for your estimate. Okay, so we've got 9 plus 3, that's 12. Then we've got 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 1 is 8. 0 plus 9 is, zero, is uh, 9. And 7 plus 2 is 9. So there's our answer. Now we need to estimate. Okay, so um, when estimating, we do the same thing that we did up here as, um, as we do to each of these numbers. So first we need to um, estimate the seven to the nearest thousands. So there's a zero next door, so that stays as 7,000. And then we look at the 2. There's a 9 next door, so we raise the score of the 2, turning it into a 3. And then we add those two numbers together, which ends up with 10,000. 10,000 is awfully close to 9,982. In fact, if we rounded 9,982 to the nearest 1,000, we would end up with 10,000. So that's how I know that this answer is reasonable. Now you need to try this one. So you're adding and then estimating. I'll give you a minute to try that. Okay, so this is the answer that you should have gotten. Um, you should have ended with 8,056 as your actual answer. And notice I added from uh, left to right here. You may have done this, this method and still ended up with the same answer though. And then my estimate 58,043 rounds to 6,000, 2,213 rounds to 2,000. And that leaves us with 8,000 here. 8,000 is really close to um, 8,056. That's how I know that my answer is reasonable. Okay, it makes sense. So if you didn't get this answer, please copy it down now and then go do your assignment. Hopefully this helped.